Hey guys, it's Brother Paul here. Um, just want to talk to you guys about something that happened yesterday. And uh, I'll tell you how I came about. So what it was is last Sunday when I went to worship, uh, the pastor was talking about treating your neighbor the way Jesus wants you to. And I went home after on Sunday and I thought really hard about this. On Saturday during the Sabbath, I had read a bunch of stuff in the Bible too many scriptures to mention but it was a repeating theme in everything I was reading and then I go to you know to church and they are talking about being good to your neighbor and he talked about how you have to be good and pray for blessings on your enemies and I really went home and I heard I thought about this a lot and I'm with Dennis right here Dennis hey. <laughs> so we've been talking about this on and off today but uh I just had a revelation right now. I was just watching a bit of a, a Marcus Rogers uh, video. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with him. But this guy seems to, in many ways, think like I do. Like he reads the word. And like many of us, we get revelations while we read the word. So it led me to do something to someone yesterday who up until Monday of this week was my boss at my job right now. And this is a guy I've known for 21 years. We've never seen eye to eye. And we've taken the high road just to, you know, be polite to each other. I have absolutely nothing against this guy, but he's had this look down his nose attitude at me forever. And I, I never understood why. And some other people told me reasons. I mean, I don't want to get into this, but it was, it was basically in my wrestling days, he thought like what kind of a guy leaves his wife at home when he's off doing something. And he always assumed I was doing bad things when I wasn't. So... Anyway, we went back to working together full time and he became my operational manager just five years ago. And on more than one occasion in his position of authority, he tried to abuse it. And I always took the high road and I left one time. He had embarrassed me in one of the staff meetings. He was he portrayed it as a joke, but everybody in this meeting, there was about 22 of us. Nobody thought it was funny. So anyway, to arrive to yesterday. He had uh, stepped down from being that position last Monday and half the staff thinks he was demoted. The other half thinks he stepped down. None of us know the truth. And I thought, what would Jesus do? So I walked up to him at the end of my shift yesterday and I went up to him and his name's John. I said, John, I'd like to tell you something. And this is a guy I never talked to him. So he got defensive the way I walked up to him. And I, I'm like 6'4 and he's like, you know, 5'8". So he's intimidated by my size. And I said, John, I want you to know, and you've done a lot for this company. And regardless of your reasons for why you change positions, I go, that's none of my business. I said, I want you to know that I really appreciate what you've done for this company. You had to sit in a lot of meetings and make a lot of hard decisions, good and bad. I said, I want you to know that the staff owes you a big thank you. And I'd like to be the first one to do it. This guy was so shocked that I did this. It was crazy. Like he's, he kind of went like, wow. Because he, to him, he thinks I hate him, but I don't. So he was just like, wow. And then I just said, anyway, I want you to know that. And I walked away and I went back to cleaning our ambulance. He came back about three minutes later and he was so, what I had done had moved him so much. He came back and you can tell when somebody has been touched, you know, my kindness to him touched him and he came back he's like paul i can't believe that you said that he's like you didn't need to do that but i can't tell you how much it meant to me thank you and he shook my hand i said oh no problem i said you know what when somebody deserves um something to be said in this case you did a lot of work for this company i said i wanted you to know that i appreciated it and i said anyway i just got to finish this john and i kind of like was brushing it off and i moved away I watched him walk away and he came back a third time to joke around with us. I've known this guy 21 years. That was the first time he joked around with me. So my message for the day is step out of your comfort zone. Do an act of kindness today. Do as Jesus would do. Please do this. This is, we're not supposed to be doing works to, you know, get our grace and all that. We already got our grace from the cross, but you know what? This is what God wants us to do. So. I took it upon myself to try this, and I'm challenging all of you to do the same. Have a wonderful day. I love you. Dennis is going to say something now. See you guys. <laughs>
I love putting him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, have a great day. Uh, think about this. Pray on it. Ask for discernment. Uh, it's going to affect everybody in a different way. But this is what Jesus wants. So I love you. It, Dennis loves you. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus loves you even more. So spread the love. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.